it's Anita Wing Lee, and let's talk about personal branding today. What is personal branding? Why do you need one? And how you can build one that really reflects who you are so that you can use your personal brand as a launch pad to create the career that you really want. First off, what is personal branding? It's not a flashy website or flashy social media. It can be all of those things, but it just comes down to what people think of you when they think of you. So when people think of you and your name, what do they say about you? You know, how do they feel when they're around you? What do they remember about you? That is really your personal brand. And there are different ways of putting it out online and offline. And today I'm going to give you four practical tips that you can use in your own life right now to begin developing a personal brand that really reflects who you are. Because that's important. If your brand is a version of you where you're pretending to be someone else, it's not going to work. Because when you put it out into the world, people will probably be able to feel that it's not, it's a bit fake, it's not who you really are, and that turns them off. So let's talk about how to build a personal brand based off of your passion. The first step I have for you is to get clear on what are some of the things that you love. I know this can overwhelm people because they're, sometimes they're like, oh, I'm too passionate about so many different things. I don't know how to communicate that to people. It's okay. We're just going to do a brain dump right now. So I want you to get out a pen and a piece of paper and answer this question. What are the things I love? What am I passionate about? What am I interested in? Just jot all of the things down that you love reading about, doing, spending, you know, spending time engaged in. Just so we can have it all out in front of us. And then we're going to narrow it down afterwards. The next thing I want you to do is to find people who have personal brands that resonate with you. So whether it's a food blogger, you know, a foodie or someone in, in the arts or someone in science or an entrepreneur. There are people online doing everything in every kind of industry who have personal brands. So a great way to find people if you don't know how to get started is to use hashtags on Twitter or just search up keywords in Google and find people who are doing what you think you might want to do. And take a look at their websites, take a look at their online properties. Uh, their social media to get an idea of how they position themselves out there. For example, you'll see some people lead with the fact that they're a dad, they're a family man, whereas some people just go straight to what they do in their job. So you can see there's a full spectrum and you get to choose what you put out there. And then the third thing is to begin to fill out your own social media profiles. Now, I said earlier, personal branding is not just about what you do online, but filling in these profiles is a really good way to hone in on where you want to get started. Because here's the thing, you can change your social media bios anytime. It's that easy, but just filling it in is going to start that process. And this is what I did when I was first building out a personal brand, and I didn't even know I was building a personal brand. I was just getting clear on what I wanted to do, and I started to write it out, and then it started to become real. So I want you to go on Twitter or LinkedIn and begin to create a little bio for yourself and choose what pieces you want to pull in. Maybe you don't want to include the part that you're a chef. Maybe you just want to put what you want to do in your career or maybe you do want to include that. If you look at my bios on Twitter and on YouTube and on my website, they're a mix of all the things that I am. I'm a life coach, you know, but I'm, a, I'm also a traveler and I'm also a friend and I'm also a writer. So I incorporate all of these things. And then the fourth thing is I want you to begin to put yourself out there and introduce yourself to people who are doing these things that you love. So find events and begin to put yourself in environments where other people are working in that industry. This is beginning to develop your personal brand offline. Because when people meet you and they hear you talk about what it is that you love, they get a feel for your energy, they get a feel for who you are, and that's the beginnings of a career in the industry that you love. So when you put yourself out there and you talk to people, that is your offline personal brand. People will remember you as like, oh, you know, that energetic guy or that guy who's really, or that girl who's really passionate about food, you know, or, or, or sustainability, whatever it is. 
And that's how I got my start. People started to recognize me because I always talked about what, it, what I was passionate about and what I wanted to do. So now I wanna hear from you. Hop on over to my blog at anitawingley.com, leave me a comment there and let me know which of these four steps you are going to do today. And if you have a personal brand, I'd love to check it out. Send me your social media links and your website. Leave me a comment on my website and I will respond to you. I'm excited to be sharing how I've built my personal brand. If you enjoyed this video, let me know if you want more stuff like this, if you've got more questions about how I've done what I've done. I will see you soon. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you liked this and share it with all of your friends. Thank you so much. Bye for now. Hey everyone, it's Anita Wing Lee here, and today I want to talk about networking, how to get started and how to get over that fear of networking so you can enjoy the whole process and have fun. I'm going to share